and welcome to my very first Minecraft video. My name is Mrs. Annie Glector, otherwise known as Mrs. E because it's a lot easier to pronounce and um, also PZ Designs. I'm a bit of a Minecraft noob but I've learnt a few things as I've gone along. Um, lots of things I'm still like, oh I didn't know you could do that. Um, and I've started trying out this thing called branch mining, which is pretty good because I found a few diamonds already. I've only just started. Um, but actually, the reason for this video is something completely different. Um, look at my little cart and this track and cat in the distance. Um, I'm just going to show you something. Oh, I love going on this thing. Whee! I really say that every time because I'm just so proud of this track. Um, it's not going all the way through. I've just started actually even learning how to put this thing together. Um, but it's so much fun. I found myself going up and down several times. So, as she gracefully steps out of the minecart, I have to give myself little signs because um, I get lost a lot. Right. Pressing W, double tapping it, doesn't always make me run, but I seem to be this time, which is great. And check this out. Look at this. It's so beautiful. I really think so. I mean, I'm using the um, the Mesa texture pack, which I seem to like a lot because it's a lot. I don't know. Some people like the Doku, but I found it a bit over decorative. But this is just just right, I think. Um... I came across this, you can see these are my mine shafts, and I ended up extending it because I had an idea, and that's something I wanted to do with this video. Um, I was thinking it would be really cool because I extended all this, all this stone here, and I put some lights over there. Thought it would be nice to put some up there if I can gather the courage to build a bridge to go up there because lava scares the crap out of me. Um, and put some more twinkly lights up there. But anyway, I digress. The point of this is that I wanted to build a lava home. I thought it would be really awesome. Um, and I thought... Instead of all this stone, which I started putting out, I thought, oh, I could put glass. And then that means the floor would look like this and it would be really discotastic. And over here, this teeny little one, I could probably, I'm not sure whether to extend this out a bit, but I thought it would be nice with a glass floor over this bit and then a glass ceiling, maybe stairs going up there. I'm not sure what's up there, but I'll probably put a little ceiling and put lots and lots of lights because... Um, I don't like the beasties. Um, but before I do that, I need to get a lot and lot, a lot, a lot of sand so that I can make all the glass that I need in order to do this. Um, I thought it would be, it just would be so nice. It would be so nice. So anyway, I've got to go all the way to the surface to get lots and lots of sand and make the glass so I shall be back shortly. Hello, I'm back again and look what I've done so far. Doesn't it look wonderful? Oh, it looks so good. Look at this. Oh yeah. And I've sort of nearly finished this bit here. There's some beasties. Oh, look at you. Um, I've got myself a diamond sword now. Whoa, look at this. Look at this. Yay. Um, and, okay, let's go ahead and start building. I need to put some more sand in there and in there so we can make some more. I've got some doors prepared. What I thought of doing is using silver birch, um, which looks really nice. I think it especially looks nice with the... Um, with the what am I doing with the default pack um, I'm just going to put double doors in here and I thought it would be quite nice as a frame I'll go around the other side where are the doors I like to keep all my tools as specific numbers actually um, it might sound a bit 
silly, but I've made... Come on. Um, I just kind of got into the habit of just having every tool on a different number. Um, and I just move them up and just put them straight back down again because it just seems to be a lot easier that way. Let's put some more over here. Oh, come on. There. I'm a bit slow at building, as you can see. Some people just build so fast, but at the same time, not many people build on the edge of a lava lake, so um, I'll have to go up there, maybe. Let's see if we can put some... Can we reach? Oh, yes. I'll have to leave that torch there for now. And then... Oops! E I hate it because glass... Once it's broken, that's it. Um, I think I prefer to use glass blocks. I know it's kind of wasteful and everything because you'll get more panes um, out of blocks of glass. But I think in this case, it would just look a bit nicer. Um, let's put some more up there. I'll probably... not sure what to do with the ceiling bits yet. Um so far it's looking good you can probably hear the cats going meow meow i've left them sitting so they don't fall into the lava um for now but i thought it would be wise to have cats because creepers don't like cats do they and the last thing i want is sodding creepers blowing up my really fragile lava house or lava home oh the last bit there anyway Let's see how that looks. Oh, looking good. Right, I'm back. And, oh my God, I have so, so enjoyed this project. I can't tell you. And let me show you. Yeah, that's the mine shaft I walked down. I opened it up, put some lovely, lovely pixelated paintings. And, oh, here it is. I am really really pleased with how this came out um what can i say it's just been so much fun all the cats yes there's remember i said they were here to protect from creepers i've had to keep them sitting while i was building all this because um i lost a couple in the lava because they were just so enthusiastically following me and yes they fell in um so this is for their safety and I chose lapis instead um, for the the doorway because when I looked at it, the silver birch, eh, not quite as good as I expected. The other thing is also, I, as I was building, I kind of noticed that it's kind of Art Deco. You know, I, I kept the structure as much as I could, how it was naturally formed. And it's just beautiful anyway. But I just, I really, I just, you know, tweaked it a bit. But yeah, lapis, bit of an homage to the old um, Art Deco style, because they did love their ancient Egyptians after they discovered the Tutankhamun. Um, and look, yes. Can you see the lights all the way up to the top? I did it. I'm so proud. Um, I did fall in. And that's when I had the grand idea of putting a false floor of cobblestone so there was no further danger. Um, and I did climb up there. Oh, yeah, I did. My little painting there in a little recess. Oh, it's just so nice. And up there's the rest of the cavern. I've just left this on peaceful mode just for this for the filming of this. See? I think that's Plato. Not sure. Anyway. Um and this is this part here. As you can see there's an absence of furniture. Because I just really like the space. And you can't sit on the chairs anyway. I thought that painting perfect for that lava. Lovely, lovely glass stairs. Shame you can't get them in half blocks, but you never know in the future. And some more paintings here. Oh yeah, I meant to show you this. Check out the view. Oh, it's just so beautiful. So beautiful. Carpet. 
Now, there's something special about this carpet. Yes, it's a creeper carpet. A creeper carpet. Look how beautiful. Oh, it's so nice. I'm so in love with that carpet. I wish I had the real one. Um, I really like doing dyeing wool and all that. I'll show you all of that in another video, maybe. And it's the first one I've done using all the wool. So, and there's the piggy painting. Ooh, so cute. So, yeah. Okay. Oops. There we go. That's better. You can see here, oh, got a bit carried away with the lights there, but you can see this was actually quite, oh, there. It was naturally formed like that. And I wanted to keep it there. And that's actually in this room is when it struck me how Art Deco it just naturally is. So I kept the sort of beauty of the blockiness and all that stepped effect. And also here, it just, it is, it's really Art Deco. Oh, and I do like Art Deco, as you can tell. Nice half steps going up so you can, oh, and my library, my personal library. Because I really want one just like that, but covering like an entire room. I've got boxes of books all over the place. And yeah, it's my dream. Um, I've put another painting there. This is a doorway into areas which I haven't quite explored yet. Um, I'm sure there's lots of minerals I'd be needing from there. And so there you have it my lovely lovely lava home i've just so enjoyed it i've really really had fun doing this um i hope you've enjoyed watching this i would be ever so grateful if you liked um feedback please i'm such a beginner i really want to learn i'm just so new at all of this so please you know constructive criticism i'm happy with that so and there you have it I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. And this is me gone. Until next time, peace and love. Bye. Oh, I'll let the catties go before that. There you go. There. Alrighty, I'm off again. <laughs> Bye.